The topic today, exponential function integration, corresponds to section 5.1 in the textbook. So first thing I got to do, is I got to come in here, logarithmic, no thank you, that should be exponential also. So the integral of the natural exponential function, okay? So integral of e to the x dx, of course, naturally e to the x plus c. When you have anything more complicated, e to the u, du dx, dx, you got to do a u sub type problem. 9 times out of 10, when you have to integrate an e, you're going to have to use a u sub also in the problem. So, for example, example A, e to the 3x plus 1. Derivative of 3x plus 1 is 3. The coefficient on the e is not 3, it's 1. But 1 is a number. Derivative of 3x plus 1 is a number. So, the, the 1 is some form of the derivative of 3x plus 1. So we'll go ahead and use that u substitution. So du equals 3dx. du over 3 equals dx. Then go ahead and make our new integral problem. e to the u du over 3. So pull that denominator 3 out of the front, e to the u, du, we have one third, e to the 3x plus 1, and of course, plus c. So think to yourself, derivative of e to the 3x plus 1. Derivative of e is e, leaving the inside alone, times derivative of inside, times derivative of 3x plus 1, times 3. The times 3 and the 1 third would cancel out, leaving you with the original problem, okay? Over here, then will be same type of approach. Do start off, u sub negative x squared du negative 2x dx and du over negative 2x equals dx kind of take those put them together so integral of 5x e to the u and du over negative 2x. Now you see some nice things are going to happen. The x's cancel out. The 5 and denominator negative 2. Bring those out. We have just e to the u du left for integral. Integral of e is e. We substitute the u value. And indefinite integral. Don't forget your plus c. <clears throat> okay, so a lot of times these are going to require u sub. Just look for some form of the derivative of the exponent for e in the problem somewhere. So look at the double c and d. Here we're going to look at definite integration. And of course, going to start with a little u sub. u equals negative x du equals negative dx 
negative du equals dx. So let's put all of that together. Our new bounds, plug in zero for negative x, so negative zero, zero, plug in one, negative one. Oh, interesting, okay. So e to the u, and negative du. So let's pull that negative out. And go ahead and evaluate. So negative e to the u from 0 to negative 1. So a negative e to the negative 1, pl well, sorry, 1 minus e to the 0. But you got to just root the negative here in front of the brackets of each term. <coughs> So minus negative plus positive. Of course, e to the zero is one. So we end up with negative one over e plus one. Whatever decimal that is, all right? So take a look at the examples B and C also. Check your work with my completed work online.